Hi guys, it's Rob here and I'm back with another uh, Modeling in Maya tutorial. So today we're going to be going over the Target Weld tool found under the, under the Mesh tools. As you'll see here I've created two cubes and I have them adjacent to one another with some spacing in between. I'm going to first reduce the number of spacing. What the Target Weld tool does is it allows you to take the vertex from one object and connect it with a vertex of another object under the contingency that you, uh, both objects must be combined into one node. Let me show you what I mean by that. To illustrate uh, the usefulness of this tool, I'm going to delete these faces here. So I'm going to delete the face on each object that's facing the other object. Right, So I have two open faces next to one another. My desire is to weld each of these vertices from this right cube with each of the vertices from this left cube as seen here, uh, dictated by the vertices that are uh, on the side of the empty space, the face that we just deleted. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select both objects, I'm going to go up here to mesh, and I'm going to combine. Please note that when you combine two objects, uh, one thing is you may have to modify center pivot to recenter your pivot point there. Another thing is that those two objects uh, are still individual objects, they're just represented in Maya as under one node right now. So that's why further action would have to be taken to weld these vertices together, and that's the perfect use of the target weld tool. I'm going to go in, by holding down my right mouse button, I could access all of these component modes in Maya. Uh, for this specific tutorial, we're going to go to vertex mode now. And as you'll see, the, vertic the, vert the vertices on this uh, combined object now are all shown. Now we're going to go to mesh tools and we're going to hit target weld and I'm actually going to go to the options here simply put um, there's only really one option one setting here right I'm going to reset this tool we'll notice that we're still on target so next I'm going to open up to make sure I have a full view so that you guys can see to the best of your ability and now I'm going to click and you'll notice when the highlight over one of these vertices it turns red or vertex it turns red I'm going to click on one of them and drag it until this orange line is over the one I want to match it up to. I want to match it up to its partner vertice right here. Those two vertices are now one vertex. I want to continue with this workflow all around the object. Now you'll notice that by using the target weld tool, we have successfully linked up the vertices on this object. Now there was one slight flaw where I had uh, not linked up these vertices 100%. If you wanted to get this 100% accurate, what you would do is you would go to vertex mode and you would decide to yourself, okay, everything is going to be pulled from the left to the right. You would choose this tool and everything would be pulled from the left to the right. And in this case, for this lesson, so we rotate it 180 degrees right to left. And now we have this perfect line here, this perfect edge loop. So if you want, if you want it to be absolutely perfect on your model, you would do it that way. Now, one uh, key part to note is that when using this tool, it's best if you do this where each object has the same number of vertices, right? So in terms of vertices, we have one, two, three, four. Right, so if this object had a fifth vertice defining it somewhere, we would have had to choose one of these other vertices to weld it to to make this a fully closed uh, edge loop here. So that can get kind of sloppy. Now, it's by no means undoable, I've done it before, but best modeling practice is to plan ahead of time to have the same number of vertices uh, around this open face as you do around this open face, and then you would weld them together to make this one object. So a quick recount of the steps that we took when using the target weld tool. We first created two cube primitives. Next we deleted the face that was towards the other object. To illustrate this one more time, we have a left cube and a right cube. What we did was we went into face mode, 
selected this face that's facing the other object, deleted it, selected this face on this object, on the right cube, deleted it because it's facing the other object. We wanted to make sure that our space between the objects was decreased as much as possible, with us still being able to see each individual vertex from each object. Now that we have that, we would right click, well, we would right click and go to object mode, select both of these objects, and then go to mesh combine, which again does not uh, do anything to the mesh except puts them into one node. It does not alter the mesh in any way, it just makes the two objects one node. Now we're going to go to modify center pivot to center our pivot point. We're going to hold down our right mouse button, go to vertex mode, and now we're going to go to mesh tools, target weld, decide which direction we're going to drag from and towards so that we get a clean edge loop around the object. In this case I'm doing it from right to left. And now we have successfully welded the vertices of those two objects together. You'll notice that when we click on one of these and move it around it behaves as though it were just one vertice, because now it is. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.